Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got the differential from a newer Aaron snowblower here. I will take it apart here and I want to show you parts that can fail in your machine. So if you hear clicking noises from inside your transmission and one wheel is not driving or has traction, more than likely this is the culprit. It could also happen that both wheels won't drive under pressure and you hear clicking noises coming from inside the transmission. I'm just going to take it all apart and show you why. You will need a T20 Torx screwdriver for this. Now it's going to come apart like this. This will pop out. And you're going to have two sets of these two parts here. One for each wheel. Then you've got the spring, an o-ring, and a washer. Then another set. The other side comes off and you end up with your gear in the middle. This gear is not the culprit. What it is, is that one of these here, all the gears inside have become rounded. And this one here specifically, you can see all the edges here are rounded. That's from wear and tear. This machine here was used to blow 20 to 30 driveways each time it snowed. Now the reason these wear out inside and get rounded is because when you move your machine from side to side the differential allows it to do that with ease. One wheel turns while the other does not and this is how it allows that is by the plates here moving like this. So over time what happens is it gets rounded and also these gears are depended on to have proper traction on each wheel so you have one for each wheel in the differential so what's going to happen is the wheel that is on the side of the worn out plates will not have traction under pressure it might work on a straight driveway but as soon as you have to dig into snow it's just going to go like this so that's the clicking noise that you will hear and then on that side the wheel will not be driving so let's have a look at the other side. This other side was a bit better. They're not as rounded, but you can see that they're starting to get rounded. And again, here's a close-up look of the side where it's all worn out. Have a look at that. Again, the better side here, although it's still not that good. You can see they are a bit sharper here. Now you cannot buy these parts individually. You have to buy this whole assembly here complete. It's too bad you can't just buy the inner parts because you could save some money and put it back together and have it working. So I thought I'd show you this. If you get an issue with your air and snowblower and you have a differential like this, then take it apart and check inside these plates. I hope this helped you out today. If it has, please like the video and share it with your friends and have a great day.